So it makes perfect sense that we would be talking about making your own art. This is DIY. You don't have yep. to go out and spend, you know, three grand. You can actually go home, get your materials, do it yourself, yep. following your instructions. Weekend project for me, super fast. And I needed you to know I did this quickly because I have tons of clients that have these beautiful homes. We spend a fortune on the floors and the tile and everything yeah. else. And then the frosting socks. Yeah. Because we ran out of cash. There's no money for yeah. original pieces, so create your own. Right, exactly. So things that are easily are the liquid acrylics, you literally just wet the canvas and let it do its thing. Yeah. Or you just get some black lines and do something really graphic. Cool. This takes no time and this is just like a little black and white thing. Okay. Or you can do a little mixed media. And you, so you did that yourself, huh? Yes! And how long, this is? how long did that take? <laughs> how no, long did that take? Did this. this took me like, well, the paint had to dry, so a couple hours. But That's um, good. not bad, right? Not bad at all. So this is plain acrylic, liquid acrylic, and a little bit of chalk. Yeah. And so once the paint dried, I was able to go on top with chalk. But okay. super fun. Turn on some video. Do your business. Yeah. Frost your home. Frost it and up. You're done. And then original artist signature. Uh -huh. What? I'm I love it. I'm going to give these puppies way by the way. Oh, are we going to draw for them? Give me them away. Yeah. Yeah. I want one. I want one. Okay. okay. That's very cool. Be, you know, empower yourselves, do your own art, don't get all fussy about it. No, and also too, who cares if it sucks? You just put yeah. it down and do it again. Do another one. Yeah, art is not intended to be perfect all the time. It's intended to sort of be good for your soul. Yeah, that's and, true. Right? And have an emotional connection to it. And, and then it's got a story, and it's on your wall. And people love that. Yes. You have your buddies over for cocktails, and they're like, oh, that's really cool. I made that. I'm the artist. I did that? I did it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, right? That is very cool. So the other cool thing is because you know what your colors are in your home, you can go to the art supply store and actually uh -huh. pick the colors that match your house instead of like running around to HomeSense trying to find something that matches perfect. Mm -hmm. So. Very true. Being the former art teacher that I am. Oh, is that what you were? Uh -huh. That makes sense to me. Um, I, this is the best way I was able to teach adults to paint again and it's sort of just draw, see that black and white line situation? Yeah. Sort of like that. So you just kind of don't look and you just go. Well, so, first of all, where do you get these from? Any That's art supply any store. Any art supply store. I prefer the wood because they really suck up any sort of moisture and I use right. lots of water. Okay. So just, don't look. Just go like this. Yeah. Let's see if it turns out as yeah. good as yours. Give me some loops though. You're scribbling. I know. Well, I feel okay, inspired. Loops, loops, loops. Okay. Okay, so then I just hose it down with a little bit of H2O. Okay. So spray bottles, dollar store, whatevs. Give it a hose down. All right. And then I like big brushes because anything, yep, keep hosing, hosing. Why do you need the water? Because it creates slip with your paint. Oh. So as soon as it hits the canvas, you're moving around and it's super, super easy. Okay. And now we're I just going to start with, right, yeah, stop. I know, it's exciting. So here's your brush. Yep. Start with your white. Right. Dip it inside the water. What dip, kind of dip. paint did you use? This oh. is acrylic. I think I did it backwards. That's whatever. okay. This is acrylic paint. Okay. And it's it's a water-based paint, so that means it'll dry. So sort of follow your lines. Oh. <laughs> she's just doing it. See, she's hungry for the paint. This is a hungry situation. Okay, so like sort of like this. So there's your line there, so you can kind of just. Oh, so I'm coloring in the lines Correct. now is what's happening. Okay. So you find your lines and you take the white and you kind of color in the I lines. I can do that. But not all of them. Yeah. Just then, do a, pick a few uh, a few spaces that's there. That's exactly right. And have some fun. Dip some water. Dip a little white. Keep going. And what happens is, is the chalk will transfer its color onto the white paint, oh. and it starts to tint it, which is really cool. And then eventually, what? You get a color scheme. That's so cool. Yeah, and you just keep going. So the more you add water, yeah. the easier it is to start with this liquid acrylic product, which I'm sort of obsessed with, and I'm gonna show you why. You know what, it goes on really nicely. You got your stuff, uh, these supplies from Desairs, uh, but you can you can pretty much, and I love that place, you can pretty much go to any art, art supply, supply store. store to get this stuff. Yep. Uh, it, it just, it goes on really nicely. Okay, so you're feeling that. I'm Take feeling it. Spot. Look what I'm about to do. Okay, okay liquid acrylics, right? They're already pre-done like this. Yeah. And then you just, but look. Oh. Oh, what's up? And wow. Oh, okay. Hey, hey what's what up? What is going on here? Squeeze. So squeeze. can I do whatever color I yeah, want? Yeah, just squeeze. Oh. Um, okay, that's good. Just, <laughs> I'm done. Go easy. Go easy. I'm done. I just wanted that one touch.
a nice vibrant blue, blue right? Kind of goes with your blouse. But see, there's your pattern. Much yeah. like my one on the end here. See, I've got those little blue splashes. Let this dry. Original artist fingerprints. And then you keep on going. The picture. Okay, sister, hold on. You're not done. Now we're just gonna do okay. a little detail work. I know you're dying right now. I don't have a cloth. No, who cares? Who cares? It's fine. You're into it's it. fun. It's fun. Okay, so let's just keep going with our blue. Yeah. So now you can just take little dabs and just sort of add around it so it looks purposeful, right? right. So keep dabbing. Make it look like this is what you intended. That's exactly right. It's an important, <laughs> it's an important part of being an, an artist. Roll. Right? I love this. We roll with it. And then you've got, see, of course, you're doing blue, I'm doing pink. So I'm just going to roll in some of my pink, fill in those lines. So I'm still seeing some of the wood throughout, which I kind of like that wood grain coming through. Yeah. But you just keep mixing your colors. Grab another color, Tracy. Don't stop. What do you guys think so far of my <laughs> original? My beautiful original. So, All right. I always say paint your sides, let it dry overnight. Right. Sign it up. Put it up on that Put wall. Put it up on your wall. I love that.